director, Laurel Ridge Realty, First Federal Savings Loan Association of Greene County, Ted Soba and Son, Bonnie and Fender Repair, the Radcliffe Martin Law Firm, Novacare Rehabilitation, George Dental Associates, KC Sports Cafe, SWGI, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health, Sandy Howe Notary Services, the Brewston Chiropractic Studio, Target Safety Solutions, FACT, the C. Harper Auto Group, m and Transit, the Uniontown Printing Press, Joby's Golf, the Sprouse Insurance Group and Insurance Agent David Hughes, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, Gary's Auto Sales, K2 Engineering, Magisterial District Judge Nathan Henning, the Della Rose Law Offices, the Fay West Glass Company, Potter's Bar and Grill, State Farm Agent Lauren Yeoman, Attorney Thomas W. Schaefer, Thurby's Riverside Ford, the Gates Funeral Home and Crematory, Uniontown Dental Associates, Shop and Save, Uniontown Detailing, Movement Physiotherapy, Autoland Hyundai of Uniontown, the T-Berry Law Offices, Peach and Pharmacy, Zen's Construction Warehouse, the Catholic War Veterans, both 1669 in Hopwood, Ford of Uniontown, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute and Physical Therapist Jim Burns, Uniontown Mayor Bill Gerke, Cherokee Recycling, Mama Ruka's Pizza Shop, Stewart Collision, and by attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Wood at Watson Mundorf LLP. Now stay tuned for the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show here on WMBS. From Greater Latrobe High School, it's time for high school basketball action here on WMBS, Trib Live High School Sports Network, the South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live this afternoon. The 2 and 13 Laurel Highlands Mustangs take on the 7 and 7 Greater Latrobe Wildcats. Brian Morosak alongside Tony Hanula, Billy Dice behind the camera, Nick Barczyk back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. Our pregame show being brought to you by the Sprouse Insurance Group and insurance agent David Hughes will get you ready for the game. They're located at 217 West Main Street in Union Town, phone 724 437 9812 for the Sprouse. Insurance Group. And Tony, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs trying to snap a 10-game losing streak and looking for their first win since December the 12th when the Mustangs knocked off Connellsville. They've actually played better as of late, almost downing Southmoreland last Friday and played a very competitive game against Uniontown on Tuesday, losing only 66-52. to yeah, only lost 66-52 to 52 to Unitown. Actually played a pretty good game, Brian. I was actually impressed. You know, we kind of thought early on it, it might not be very close, but tell you what, nice game plan by Johnny Smith coming in against a very good Unitown team. And really, outside of a few turnovers and some missed shots, really could have been a lot closer than it was. And after Greater Latrobe fell to Morgantown high on December the 5th, 111 to 49, everybody asked, what's wrong with the Wildcats? But Greater Latrobe, they're coming off a win over the number one team in 5A Gateway on Tuesday, 63 to 60. And the Wildcats look for real right now. They do look for real. And they've won four out of their last six. And really, that win on uh, against Gateway the other day was a big win for this program, and I'm sure that they're going to come in with a lot of momentum here this afternoon. Laurel Highlands defeated Greater Latrobe last year 70-44. to Both of these schools with a few non-conference tune-ups before the second half of the conference season. The Mustangs will host Norwin on Tuesday. Greater Latrobe will tackle Berlin Brothers Valley on Monday. The Wildcats, they've missed the WPIL playoffs, Tony, the last two years. They want to make sure they don't miss out on the party here in 2024. The Mustangs, they're going to need a strong second half of the season to avoid missing the playoffs for the first time since 2019. Well, the Mustangs, really, they just need a win, Brian. I mean, that's all it is. They need a win just to get their confidence back. They are playing excellent basketball when you look at it, but the thing of it is they just can't get over that hump. A few turnovers here and there, and that's exactly what's happening. But you know what? Both of these teams have played an extremely tough schedule so far throughout this year. I mean, really no cupcakes on either side. And the thing about the Mustangs is, like I said, if they could get a win here, it really might propel them into something coming into the second half of section play. Our live video stream here today, courtesy of Ted Silva and Sun Body and Fender Repair and m and Transit. We'll talk to Laurel Highlands head coach John Smith from the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show continues right after this. I'm Bill Martin, and along with my partner Trip Radcliffe and Rob Harper, are attorneys at Radcliffe Martin Law. Our primary focus at Radcliffe Martin Law is representing people hurt in accidents. However, we handle workers' compensation claims, estate planning, real estate matters, and class actions. Radcliffe Martin Law is your hometown firm that offers conveniences not possible with Pittsburgh firms and provides better service than those firms. Radcliffe Martin Law, your local injury attorneys. 724-439-3930. Novacare Rehabilitation is now in Masontown. Using a personalized plan of care and one-on-one -on -one sessions, Novacare gives you an advantage in rehabilitation. Dr. Haley Cruiser and our professional staff are certified to use industry-leading treatments, including LVST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks. These services supplement Novacare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call our new Masontown office on Route 21 McClellan Town Road at 724-491-5220. Take the back. Say your county's got it. Convenient and comfortable. Take the back. Anywhere in Bay County, we'll get you there. With all 
all this snow, I don't know how I'll get to the doctor's office and get my shopping done. At my age, I can't drive in this weather. Don't fret. Let FACT do the work. FACT? Yes. Fayette Area Coordinated Transportation. They have multiple programs to get you where you need to go. All FACT buses are safe, reliable, handicap accessible, and have free Wi-Fi. Well, that sounds great. Just make a reservation the day before your trip by 2 p.m. Call the FACT office at 724-628-RIDE or visit factbus.com. Thanks. I'll call FACT right now. Ride the FACT. Go to Ford Union Town and trade me in. John Clinton with Dominic Carbone from seven-time president of award-winning Ford Union Town. Dom, is it true we have over 90 pre-owned vehicles on the lot? John, we have more pre-owned vehicles now than we've ever had. Cars, trucks, SUVs, we got them. Both Ford and non-Ford, most are certified with factory warranty and competitive rates. So, John, what's new with new? Well, Dom, I'm glad you asked. Listen to this. All 2023 F-150s have 1.9% for up to 72 months. That's right, XLs, XLTs, Lariats, all models except for Raptor. And get this, Ford has a huge push on all 2023 SUVs with great rates on Escape, Edge, Bronco Sport, and don't forget the Explorer and Expedition. Stop, click, or call for complete details. Remember, we still offer online maintenance appointments and no-charge pickup and delivery to your work and home. Your car knows, shouldn't you? That's Ford Uniontown on top of the hill across from Applebee's or FordUniontown.com. Must finance the Ford Motor Credit. Not all buyers will call. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Our islands of Greater Latrobe Boys High School Basketball Action on WMBS this morning. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs coming off a loss against the Uniontown Red Raiders on Tuesday, being joined now by the head coach of the Mustangs, John Smith, and coach despite the loss, your Mustangs really played hard on Tuesday night at Uniontown. Um, yeah, well, you know, I've, I, we've really been preaching, you know, or coaching all year to, you know, a, a never give up mentality, you know, and, and it's hard, um, you know, anytime you're dealing with, you know, kids or, well, I mean, any team, I guess, at some point, you know, you, you get down by so many and then um, you know, they, they, they kind of give up, so to speak. And, uh, you know, our guys have, have shown a lot of heart and fight all year long, you know. And, uh, you know, I had, to, had a little bit of a game plan and, you know, try to slow the game down and throw some junk defenses at them. And, uh, you know, the boys really bought in uh, to, the, uh, to, the, to the game plan, and, and we executed it to the best of our ability. You know, hats off to Utah. You know, they, they're um, – you know they're super athletic and 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 they're a good team and and uh you know they they were able to, I know they're in a stretch in the second quarter I think they hit four or five three pointers consecutively in a row um you know they got hot but uh but yeah we hung in there we competed uh we conducted ourselves like uh you know the student athletes that I'm sure Mustang Nation wanted to see and now you get an opportunity to see all these conference opponents again during the second half stretch do you think you'll be a little bit better prepared here the second time around Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you know, every, you know, just, uh, and I think the biggest thing is it, it's it's been mental. It's been mental. It's it's not it's not these guys' physical ability. You know, uh, you know they can play, uh, but it's the little things. It's uh, you know lazy passes. It's uh, being rushed. You know, allowing the pressure of defenses from other teams to dictate the pace of how we play, and then obviously force us into turnover situations. So that's you know, essentially, that's really what banged us up a lot, uh, you know, over, you know, some of these games we have. when We have over 25 turnovers in the game. I mean, you, you know, you're just not going to be able to compete and stay in the game with that happening. But, you know, we've done a real good job of cutting down on those turnovers over the last few games. And, uh, I, you know, I think it's going to make a big difference going forward. And I have a couple of non-conference games here before the second half of the conference season gets underway. Late next week, you'll start with uh, Greater Latrobe tonight, and they're coming off a very impressive win over Gateway in their last game. Yes, yeah, for sure. You know, and uh, you know we played Gateway. I mean, uh, excuse me, we played Gateway uh, earlier in the year, and, and, and uh, you know we, we we just weren't ready for that game. You know, they they jumped on us early and basically kind of ran us out the gym. Now, we, obviously, we were a little bit shorthanded in that game as well, um, but uh, you know Latrobe's tough. 
Um, love the way they play. Have always loved the way they played. Uh, you know, the Butler family is a good friend of mine, and they've had, oh, I think this is their fourth son that's coming through the program now. But you know, they're going to they're going to play a lot of man defense. They're going to they're going to look to jump trap. They're going to they're going to play pressure defense, 94 feet, um, and it, it's going to be a good test for us. It's going to be another good test for us. Uh, you know, definitely something that we can't emulate in practice. And uh, it's going to be good for the boys. And coach, appreciate your time. We'll see you up there. Okay, Brian. Thank you. That's our Highlands head coach, John Smith. Stay tuned. Our Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show continues. We'll talk to Brad Wessel, the head coach of the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. Attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases. But most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including free consultation. There are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis and Davis, representing you and your neighbors yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 724-437-2799. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Pizza, beer, atmosphere, it's all at Mom Maruca's Pizza located on Barton Mill Road in Uniontown. Mom Maruca's is your prime spot to enjoy local high school sports. Family owned and operated, the Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, wings, and the best Italian hoagie and homemade bruschetta in town. Mom Maruca's is open Monday through Saturday from 4 to 10 for indoor and outdoor dining and takeout. Don't forget Mom's catering services for your next party or gathering. Call 724-438-9066 or visit MomMarucaPizza.com for their menu and live music schedule. Find more snuggle time this winter and be prepared for the cold with the help of First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. With a home improvement loan, a home equity loan, or home equity line of credit, you can finally upgrade that old furnace, take care of that leaking roof, or replace those outdated floors. Keep the cold out and the warm and cozy in your home this winter. Visit a loan officer today or apply online at ffgc.bank. First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County, member FDIC, equal housing lender, and MLS number 458-729. Introducing Target Safety Solutions Division, LLC. Located at 94 Atlas Road in Uniontown, Target Safety Solutions specializes in vehicle calibrations after a vehicle is involved in a collision. Target Safety Solutions can perform vehicle alignments, state inspections, minor mechanical repairs, including brakes and suspension work, as well as tire replacement. And their alignment machine can accommodate lower vehicles, DOE trucks, and box trucks. Vehicles are now made with many safety features in order to keep their occupants safe. That is the reason Target Safety Solutions was originated. The new state-of-the-art facility at Target Safety Solutions is open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. They are currently taking new customers and accepting commercial and fleet accounts as well. Nick and Mike are ready to provide you with fast, friendly, professional service. Call Nick at 724-562-2960. That's 724-562-2960 for Target Safety Solutions, located at 94 Atlas Road in Uniontown. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? Shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth? Hey, maybe it's just time for a new set of dentures. If that's the case, check out Uniontown Dental Associates, located at 7829 National Pike in Uniontown. They can make you new dentures faster than other offices, and in most cases, can offer same-day denture repairs. They also offer teeth whitening, clear braces, and single-visit crowns. Just call their office for your appointment today at 724-438-0241 or visit their Facebook page for more information. Back now with Greater Latrobe head coach Brad Wetzel, the Wildcats hosting Laurel Highlands Mustangs. And coach, a big win for your program last time out over the number one team in 5A. The Gateway Gators really shot in the arm for the second half of the conference season. Yeah, I, I think so. I think the uh, the uh, week prior, you know, we had a two-point loss to Franklin Regional and 
and uh, maybe didn't realize the psychological toll that took, but uh, we certainly didn't come out with our, our vest and, and PT jumped all over us uh, Friday. So I thought, you know, a chance for these guys to lay down and kind of go into the doldrums, and, but they showed up on Saturday ready to practice, ready to go, and we had two good practices Saturday and Monday, and we're able to go down there and play a really good team and well-coached team, and uh, we're able to get a win. So that was that was big for us. We haven't had a win like that in a couple of years. And you played a really tough non-conference schedule early on this season, and you were shorthanded during that stretch. So I'm sure that really helps you prepare now for the second half of the conference season. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, you're, you're wrong there. I think you're absolutely correct. I think uh, obviously we didn't expect to be uh, shorthanded, but that's some things you just can't you can't make those choices. So the team seen how to deal with that first. That certain guys. You know, I'm sorry, you know, Jack and Alex aren't, aren't going to be able to make the team and, uh, this season. And then John came in late, uh, and then Andy Tatch just came in even later. So, you know, I think you're right. I think the taxing uh, preseason, although, you know, you take a risk because uh, you, you're getting whooped on pretty good a couple times, and you can lose a team, you know. That was the fear, but we, we tried to talk to him beforehand and explain why we're doing this. And uh, they responded, and, and here we are. Yes, when you saw some of those early results, especially that Morgantown game, folks kind of wondered what's going on with Greater Latrobe this year. But the gateway win showed the Wildcats are back. Well, yeah, I'm glad you feel that way. We do, too. I mean, I think the, 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 the perfect storm down in Morgantown, uh, you know, it just uh, it couldn't, couldn't get much worse. Uh, Jay Williams, uh, our senior captain, one of our two senior captains, uh, fouled out. With the, in the first minute of the second half, we were playing JV guys against the best team in West Virginia. So, so it was, uh, uh, you know, pretty much survival mode. But, uh, you know, lesson learned. Uh, we, we understood that our, our depth was going to have to be something that we were, you know, aware of and, and, and that we can't, you know, we, we can't take uh, uh, any any stupid foul lightly. I think it made us more disciplined. Um, you know, but, you know, anytime you take a loss like that, it's very humbling and you got two ways to go, and I think this team keeps answering. Yeah, a couple of non-conference games against Laurel Highlands and Berlin Brothers Valley before the uh, second half conference stretch starts next Friday. Yeah, two good teams. I mean, I know Laurel Highlands' uh, record doesn't show up, but if you watch them on film, they're well coached. Uh, they've got talent. Uh, it looks like it's, they're, they're a little young, uh, but uh, clearly, you know, there's some good years ahead for, for the Mustangs. That, that's clear. I just, I just think they're going to get better and better. Uh, as this year progresses, but you, they, they do all the right things. and uh, So I'm glad to play them. We, we've had them on the schedule for, for most of my coaching career here at Latrobe. It's always, my, it's always a good team. And then Berlin, same thing. They're, what, they're one of the top teams in the state, their classification. So we know they got a, a two-man juggernaut and then, uh, up there. So it's a good exhibition right between the, the turn, uh, two good teams, and then we get to turn around and do it all over again against the five uh, teams in our conference. So I think it's it's good timing for everything. That's Greater Latrobe head coach Brad Wessel. We'll preview Monday's Uniontown game against South Moreland when the Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show continues right after this. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. Just that easy. Attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP wish the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and all of our local teams the best of luck this year. Watson Mundorf is a premier regional law firm whose experience and expertise empower it to not only be an advocate for its clients, but also provide them with exceptional service to exceed expectations. With offices in Uniontown and Connorsville, they are local and here to serve you. Call 724-626-8882 for attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Where can you go these days and have your gas pump for you? Oil checked and windshield cleaned? Joby's Golf, that's where. Joby's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Basin Boulevard. Joby's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station that has been serving the Uniontown area for 50 years. Joby's Golf offers lockout services, a fenced-in storage lot, and it's a AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-2000. 
1-800-610-0681. Brewston Chiropractic Studio is the new chiropractic office in town. Located inside Spin Unlimited, just behind the Texas Roadhouse, Dr. Stephen Lint and Dr. Brooke Sova are well-versed in the latest chiropractic and soft tissue techniques to help you get out of pain and functioning at your best. Call 724-912-6505 or go online at www.brewstonwellness.com for more information or to schedule your appointment. Accidents can happen at any time. At Stewart Collision Service in Uniontown, we are here to repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition. Have dents? Stewart Collision Service does paintless dent repair. So give us a call at 724-437-9381 or stop by 73 East Fayette Street for all your collision needs. We work with all insurances. Stewart Collision supports our local high school sports team and wish you the best this season. That's Stewart Collision Service, 73 East Fayette Street in Uniontown, 724-437-9381. Emidar Transit, locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel safely to school in the Fayette County area for more than four years. Emidar Transit is a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highlands basketball team and wishes all the area teams good luck. For more information about MR Transit, call 724-439-3164. 724-439-3164. Or stop by their Uniontown office at 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue. The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood is a veterans organization located in Fayette County since 1950. They are proud to advertise on WMBS sports programs and to contribute to the Veterans Hospital, local sports teams, and scouting organizations. Best of luck to all of our local teams from the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood. Boys High School basketball action on WMBS today. Laurel Highlands of Greater Latrobe taking on the Wildcats. Uniontown returns to action on Monday taking on the Southmoreland Scotties. Being joined now by Uniontown head coach Rob Kesmarski. And Rob, maybe not the best played game for your Red Raiders on Tuesday against Laurel Highlands. We managed to get the win and improve to 4-0 in conference play. Yes, um, we were happy to get the win. Um, uh, like we said in the paper and everything, um, Laurel Highlands deserves a lot of credit. They played a um, more deliberate game. They really made some shots. And, uh, again, we were happy. Um, we, had a, we were up 20. Um, it, we stopped a little bit at the end, and it ended up being a 14-point game. But a win's a win. And, um, I'm excited for that. We didn't shoot the ball as well. I mean, we, didn't, um, we were 11 for 20 at the foul line. Uh, missed about 25 shots inside the paint. But... Again, like sometimes we told the players, sometimes the ball doesn't go your way, but we kept battling, and, and credit to Laurel Highlands had a lot to do with that too. And again, um, we did what we were supposed to do. We we're 4-0. We have one more game against Southmoreland, um, and I'm sure um, it's gonna. It's, every game for us is important. We look at it the same way, and um, we're, we're, we're happy. And hopefully that we got back in a rhythm with practices a little bit too. It's tough whenever there's no school and um, snow and games are canceled and all that. And and to be quite honest with you, we're trying to get healthy. Um, we're going to need to get healthy soon. Jeremiah Hager is a big part of our team. He's going to be back hopefully Monday. And um, Calvin played, and he gutsed it up. And um, hopefully we get him back to 100% also. And Jameer dinged up a little bit as well. He did come back into the game. How's he doing? He was okay. I'm, I don't, I'm not, we're not sure, like, his ankle was whatever it was with sore. But he's, a, he's 100%. He, he's ready to go. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what happened. We weren't sure, but he's, he's 100%, thank goodness, and um, he had a great game for us also. Yeah, he had 25 points, and actually he's approaching now 1,000 points in his Red Raider career as well. Of course, you had Notorious go over it a couple of weeks ago, and it just uh, really shows how strong of careers uh, this group of uh, Red Raiders has really had. Yes, it is. Um, Jameer's a great kid, and um, he'll join Tory on there. Then um, sooner than later, Calvin will, and we'll have three of those kids that are 1,000-point scorers, and that's great for them, and um, it, it's something. It's going to be a special night for Jameer. Um, hopefully, he gets it done this week and gets that out of the way, and um, we'll see what happens. You're really setting up a busy week. You'll four games on the docket: Southmoreland Monday, followed by a non-conference game against a pretty good South Allegheny team on Tuesday, then a couple of days off. A Friday conference game against Albert Gallatin and the Pittsburgh Basketball Classic at North Hills, taking on Baldwin on Saturday. Yes, um, it is. Um, when you have makeup, those things happen. Um, our goal was to play Southmoreland on the 19th, and it didn't work out with the schedule. But game product may have been canceled anyway because of the, the snow now. So um, we've had that before. I remember a while ago, I think, when we when you first start doing our game, the one week we played every night in the week, and we had to win every game to win a section, and we actually did. So 
um, that that happens. We're not the only team. Um, other teams are, and again, our kids. Um, we played in Florida. We played three days in a row. It's probably the best, by far, the best we played all year. So, um, our kids are, are great kids that keep playing. Um, but we do like to stay in the rhythm. And um, South Allegheny is going to be a great exhibition game for us. And Baldwin beat Upper St. Clair. So, um, if you look at the strength of our schedule, the, the teams we play and the ranked teams that we play, um, it, it's preparing us for next month. So. Um, we're happy with that, um, but our focus, 100% of our focus right now is on a very good South Morning basketball team that's worked for years to get to this team, and um, they're 13-2, and two, so they're a really good team. Well-coached, great kids, and um, it, it, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for us, and um, our kids are we're, we're fighting for another section championship, and I'm sure South Morning um, wants to get there. Carl, again, appreciate your time. We'll see you out there on Monday. You know, South Morning coming off a big win as well on Thursday night over Albert Callison. Thank you, Brian. We appreciate it. That's Union Town head coach Rob Kesmarski and the Red Raiders back in action Monday against South Moreland. But today it's Laurel Highlands taking on Greater Latrobe. We're back with the starting lineups and the opening tip-off right after this. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Union Town staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Are you looking to list or sell your house? Now is the time to let the professionals at Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty help you with all of your real estate needs. Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty has two convenient locations to better serve you. In Uniontown area, 724-437-7100. Or in Connellsville area, 724-628-7200. And speak with one of our real estate professionals. Visit our website, caldwellbanker.com. We've been proudly serving western Pennsylvania area for over 30 years and look forward to helping you with all of your real estate needs. Broker, Paul Borges. Yes, your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coatings, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. Uniontown Detailing has moved to a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Stop by and check them out today. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. The T. Berry Law Office and Attorney Vincent M. T. Berry would like to thank everyone who voted them Best Law Firm and Criminal Defense Attorney in the 2023 Best in Fayette Contest. The T. Berry Law Office specializes in criminal defense, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. The T. Berry Law Office is located at 84 East Main Street, across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. Make your first call to Attorney Vincent M. Tberry in the Tberry Law Office. Phone 724-430-0300 or visit their new website at tberrylawoffice.com. The Tberry Law Office. Small town, big results. Prime Rosak, Tony Anula back here at Greater Latrobe High School. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs taking on the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. Tony is your starting lineups. They're being brought to you by SWGI Specialists, now U.S. Digestive Health at Uniontown, a different name but the same team, providing the same exceptional digestive care to our communities. Wishing the best of luck to our Fayette County teams, Tony. All right, Brian, for the visiting Laurel Highlands Mustangs today, who come in 2-13 and 13 overall, 0-5 in Section 3-4A play. Their head coach, Mr. John Smith, his assistants, Shandon Marshall, Paul Eckert, and John Krisner. Their starters for today will be number five, Ethan Coffler, a 5'9 senior guard. Number 13, Jaden Ringer, a 5'10 senior guard. Number 24, Aiden Black, a 5'9 junior guard. Number 31, Shane Layton, a 6'2 senior forward. And number 32, Sebi Vecchiola, a 6'1 sophomore forward. For the Greater Latrobe Wildcats, who come in 7'7 seven seven overall, 3-2 and two in Section 3-5A play. Their head coach, Mr. Brad Wetzel, in his 22nd year. His starters for today will be number two, Max Butler, a 6-2 senior guard. Number three, Quadarius Davis, a 6-2 senior guard. 
Number 10, John Wetzel, a 6'1 junior guard. Number 21, Jaton Williams, a 6'2 senior guard. And number 24, Kyle McNeil, a 6'2 junior guard. The Mustangs in their alternate reds today with blue numbers and white trim. Their bench off to our left, the Greater Latrobe Wildcats, the home whites with black numbers and orange trim. Their bench off to our right. Referees here today, Joey Touchstone, Zach Freeman, and Craig Spizak. Our game also on the South Union Township Sports Network brought to you there by Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown. Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, SWGI Specialist, now U.S. Digestive Health, the Sprouse Insurance Group and Insurance Agent David Hughes, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute and Physical Therapist Jim Burns and South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Our live video stream here on WMBS, courtesy of Ted Silva and Sun Body and Fender Repair and MNR Transit. And Tony, we're just about set to go. Set and ready to go here, Brian, ready for the opening tip-off. And as we said, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs looking for their first win in 2024. So hopefully they can surprise a pretty good Greater Latrobe Wildcat team here today. Last Mustang win December the 12th of 2023 against Connells. So really a great atmosphere inside of Greater Latrobe High School. It was their senior day here today. Good crowd on hand. The sun coming out on the outside, Tony, with the windows they have here. Pretty good lighting inside the gym as well as Joey Touchstone steps into the center circle. Shane Layton jumping against Quadarius Davis. And the opening tap goes back to the Mustangs who are working left to right as we describe it here in the opening quarter as Aiden Black will bring it across. Yeah, Black had a good game against Unitown the other night. Hopefully he can carry that on into today. Touch from Ethan Koffler has also played well on the wing to Sevi Vecchiola. Switch up top to Shane Layton, who showed some ranges of late as well, Tony, from the outside. Yeah, actually talked to his dad the other night after the game, and I was kind of surprised. The big fella, he can shoot the three. Black has it right now high on the left. The Mustangs, especially early on against Uniontown, played a slower tempo game, and that's the way they're starting this one out against Greater Latrobe as Koffler and Black play catch high on the left and high on the right. Now Black again with it. A little double team coming out over to Layton on the far wing, back up top, and Ringer's going to take the three and hit it. Jaden Ringer, Ringer, his ninth made three of the season, puts Laurel Highlands on the scoreboard first. And a wide open shot, working off the screen by Seve Vecchiola. Wildcats trying to match back. Max Butler misses from the outside. Mustangs breaking back. Ringer pulled it off to Leighton far wing. Resets to Jaden again. He'll take an NBA range three. This one off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound there goes to Cal McNeil, making his third straight start for the Wildcats here today. He'll swing it around. Wetzel at such. Dumped down low on the far block. Cal McNeil looking for positioning. Back out again to Butler. His three too strong off the back iron, and the ball out of bounds. Last touch by the Mustangs is Davis. Can't crashing in on the Greater Latrobe side looking for the save but Laurel Highlands last touch of going out. Yeah, I actually thought Davis knocked that ball out of bounds. If not, I thought he was going to get called for the over the back. Jatan Williams will send it in quickly into Butler who leans and misses. Looking for his own rebound. Can't find it. Vecchiola there for the Mustangs. Touch from Ringer. Now over to Aiden Black who will bring it across. Forward to Koffler. will spot it for the three and hit it again as that one rattles in for Ethan Koffler. So six unanswered out of the gates for Laurel Highlands and the Mustangs lead it six to nothing. Yeah, and a good start for the Mustangs and two pretty much wide open shots from three for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs early on. Mustangs hoping they can continue that trend throughout the course of the afternoon. Cal McNeil now on the far wing. Mustangs extending the defense over to Davis. His three ball far side came up short. And Vecchiola another rebound. Mustangs with numbers. Four to eight in black. will take it to the basket and get rejected there by Davis. Wow, and a nice block by Davis. Timed that one perfect. Actually thought Black was going to use his speed to get there, but beautiful block by Davis, and even not to commit the foul. Timeout, Latrobe will take it as well. Back in 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Casey Sports Cafe, located at 243 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown and owned by the Vernon family, wants you to know they have new evening hours. And those new hours are 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the weekends. Come to Casey Sports Cafe and check out their new menu ideas and entrees. Casey's can also cater your next event. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Casey's is the place to eat. Call 724-550-4126. chips and cracks to splits and shatters. If you need new glass, Fay West Glass Company is the one to call. Fay West Glass has served Fayette and Greene counties for over 25 years and specializes in residential glass installations and replacements, plus commercial and industrial glass. So when that window's busted or that sliding door shattered and you can't wait, Fay West is available. 724 
724-439-8600. That's 724-439-8600. Proudly local and veteran-owned Fay West Glass will earn your business. Morrow Highlands with a basketball for the timeout. High pass. Black trying to send it over to Leighton over his head. And out of bounds, the Greater Latrobe will get it back. But Solaro Highlands leading the Wildcats 6 to nothing here at the 550 mark of the first. Yeah, just one of those things where Antoine Black saw Leighton wide open in the corner. But just over his reach, and out of bounds and a turnover for the Mustangs. John Wetzel over to Cal McNeil. In the corner again to Davis. Front of there by Leighton, who had a little poke. Davis looking for the regain. Down on the baseline there to Butler. Resets near wing now to Wetzel. Spots him for the three. Came up short. Ball loose on the court. Wildcats save it there with McNeil. Trying to send it off to Davis. Intercepted by Koffler. Forward to Aiden Black. And Aiden Black makes it 8-0, Laurel Highlands. Connecting on that layup. Yeah, and a nice outlet pass there by Jaden Ringer to find Black. Wide open for that layup. And Latrobe will turn it over. No, maybe they won't. I thought it went off of Wetzel and Alpha. They're going to say it last touched a Mustang going on, so the Wildcats will retain possession here in the Laurel Highlands zone. 5-16 left here in the opening quarter. Laurel Highlands, an 8-0 lead. And I actually thought that that was out of bounds too off Latrobe, but the referee on the baseline was blocked out by a number of players. Katan Williams on the far side. Up top again to Max Butler. And now cutting here is Wetzel near baseline and gets the Wetzel. first two points of the game for the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. And Tony, you mentioned to me, Wetzel getting some football looks. Wetzel getting some football looks, one from Cincinnati and the other Boston College. And he's got a long way to go, only oh. a junior. Mustangs break the press, Hayden Black for three, two strong. Backside rebound, Ethan Koffler keeps it alive on the offensive glass. Resets out to Layton, missed on a three ball, but Vecchiola, another offensive rebound. Battles back on the inside and gets fouled close to the end. One there, Tone, because that one was halfway down, but came out for Vecchiola. Well, the thing of it is with Vecchiola so far in this game, I'll bet you he has about seven rebounds. That one offensively able to go back up strong and draw the foul. I actually thought he was going to get plus one but playing a nice game so far, both defensively for the Mustangs and on the offensive side. Vecchiola, first of two here on the way and good for Sebi Vecchiola to increase the Laurel Highlands lead to 9-2 to two here at the 440 mark of the opening quarter. And Laurel Highlands just had four free throw attempts against Uniontown on Tuesday. Yeah, and all of those coming in the first quarter, not first half. Vecchiola is second of two on the way and good again. Sebi came in 50% for the season, makes both there. The Mustangs as a team shooting 64%. And Laura Highlands lead back up to 8 at 10 to 2. Greater Latrobe breaks back, and McNeil comes free on the near block and lays it up and in. So Kyle McNeil has the Wildcats back to within 6 at 10 to 4. On the other side, a late foot jumper. Good for Ethan Koffler right of the lane. That's 5 for Ethan as the pace of this game starts to pick up Tony. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that the Mustangs want to run. That ball goes out of bounds off Laurel Highlands and out as Brady Prohovic in for the first time on the Wildcats side. Dean DeServe also checking in. DeServe, a 6-2 sophomore, had six against Gateway on Tuesday, came in averaging seven points a game. The well, thing of it is Latrobe has tried to put the full court press on after a couple of made baskets and really cost them because the Mustangs able to get easy laps on the backside, able to beat the press rather easily. Prohovic off to his left again to McNeil, fronted there by Koffer, works off to his right and out to his left. Back to Prohovic trying to spin off of Aiden Black, and they're going to get Aiden for a little hold there, a little aggressive play there from Black, but almost had the steal. Nearly had to steal, but uh, actually I don't blame him. It was kind of instinct there trying, yeah, gotta go to, trying, to, trying to hold Prohovic away from getting the ball. So Aiden picks up his first foul, team first. Mustangs by 4-12-4 four, to four, hit the 359 mark of the first. As John Wetzel will trigger it in into Prohovic. Back to Wetzel on the little switch. Sent off on the far wing again to McNeil. Up top again to Prohovic. Good defense again on the Laurel Highland side. Prohovic has his pass tipped into the backcourt off the Mustang as Max Butler now retrieves. And Butler will take a deep three from up top and hit it. So Butler showing the range. Coming off a 17-point game against Gateway. Butler has the Wildcats back to within 5 at 12-7. Here at the 336 mark of the first. Yeah, that was a deep three right there. He knocked that down without a problem. Coffer, a little switch here with Aiden Black. Black directs traffic. Looking for operating room with Wetzel in his face. Vecchiola trying to set the screen. A kick in the corner to Ringer. His three ball on the way at the front of the rim. No good. Late in the offensive rebound. Resets to Koffer. He'll reload from the far wing and hit it. Ethan Koffler, his second made three of the opening quarter. He has eight. And the Mustangs extend the lead back to eight at 15 to seven. Yeah, right now the Mustangs controlling the boards on both sides. And even with that one, after the miss on Leighton, hit Koffler wide open for the easy three. An impressive start for Laurel Highlands going up against a greater Latrobe team that's coming off a win over the number one team in 5A Gateway on Tuesday. There's a little hop step, handoff down low, and the finish from Ede DeServe. So DeServe has 
Randall Latrell back to within six at 15 and nine. Dangerous pass for Laurel Highlands. Brought down though by Leighton who spins in front of the basket. Couldn't finish there on the rebound. Brought down by DeServe. Four there to Prohovic. Prohovic breaking back. Oh, scoop shot attempt, no good. Battle for the loose ball rebound. McNeil has it. Poked there by Koffler and ruled off of McNeil and out initially. But the two officials getting nah, together. I think They're it's going to be switch switched. It. Yeah, I think, I think Koffler actually knocked that ball out of I bounds. Agree. So they're going to call it the other way. It's a good referee, and they were able to overrule each other. Yeah, Joey Touchstone came in and had the overrule, and now a little push here before the inbounds pass on the Wildcats side. I think it's going to be on number five. That's going to be on DeServe. So DeServe trying to set a screen there for the pass on the inbound, and he's going to get called for his first. Now we're going to see Luka Suchovic check in for his first action. Coming in for Ethan Koffler again as already. Scored eight points for Laurel Highlands here in the opening five and a half minutes. As Jaden Ringer will send it in here for Laurel Highlands. Needs to hurry. Gets a little help there from Leighton. Back to Ringer. Touch from Vecchiola as the Mustangs bring it into the forecourt. Vecchiola, little scoop off there to Aiden Black on the far wing. Resets to Ringer up top. Near wing now to Suchovich. He likes to shoot. He's going to fire quickly. It's in and out. And the rebound pulled down there by Max Butler. And after a little stumble, Butler comes forward. Sends it down out in front to DeServe. Resets on the wing back to Davis, who tried to kick it in the corner to Wetzel. Couldn't hang on. The ball goes out of bounds. Back over to the Mustangs. Yeah, I think Wetzel thought that Wetzel, I'm sorry, that Williams thought that Wetzel was going to stay in the corner and try to set up for the three, but kind of moved a little bit baseline and threw the ball out of bounds. Brennan Varney back in on the Laurel Highlands son. I don't think they're going to keep Koffler out too long for Laurel Highlands. He really played well, and I think he has a good presence, especially trying to break this greater Latrobe press defensively. Aiden Black with it right now, front of there by Wetzel, and Black trying to spin off of Wetzel as Davis comes over on the double team. They get it off to Ringer, back over to Davis, has a little operating room, will take a deep two from the far wing off the front of the rim, no good. Wetzel the rebound there for Greater Latrobe, breaking back. Here's Wetzel right down the lane, quick whistle before the shot, foul caught on the floor against Laurel Islands. Yeah, they're going to call a reach on Jaden Ringer. Ringer tried to stop Wetzel, kind of reached his hand out of there and impeded him a little bit. But like I said, Ringer's going to pick up his first foul, only the team's second. A minute 50 to go here in this first quarter. Jatan Williams, quick inbounds pass goes out in front. Here over to Ian DeServe, who gets fouled going to the basket. Shot attempt no good. But DeServe will have a pair of free throws upcoming. Now they're going to call that. I'm sorry, that, that one's going to be on Layton. So Layton picks up his first foul. And really a little miscommunication there. You just missed the DeServe cutting wide open through the lane and got that inbound pass with ease. First of two free throws here for DeServe on the way in good. Three now this afternoon, freeing to serve the 6'2 sophomore forward. Came in averaging seven points a game, and Ethan Koffler back in for the Mustangs. That's a good move right there, getting him back into the lineup. Now, I would agree, give Seve Vecchiola a little breather. He's worked hard here so far in this first quarter. Played a good game so far for the Mustangs. Now to serve, trying to pull the Wildcats back to within four. Second free throw on the way, and good for him to serve. Now it's 15-11, Laurel Highlands 148. Left here in the first. Aiden Black gets the inbounds pass. Front of there by Davis. Pulls it back to Lucas Suchovitz. Better get it across. Yeah, 10 second count on, and Suchovitz turns it over. Throw it right to Jatan Williams. Williams breaking back, leaning. Missing on the drive. A little Whoa. tip in, though. Good. Close to right around the cylinder there. But the serve getting the two to go. And the officials didn't wave it off. So the Wildcats back to within two. A 15 to 13. Another dangerous pass. And going for the save. And the Wildcats able to keep it alive there to Williams after Butler made a great move to keep it alive and the finish on the back block pulled in by DeServe and DeServe finishes there. He has eight in this game tied at 15. 117 left in the first. Time it on the floor. We're back in 60 on the CR Prodigal High School Sports Night. Chris Parker Jr., the temperature is going down and prices keep going up. But not at Autoland. Prices are 40 below here. Are you kidding? We are offering 40 below dealer invoice on new 2024 Hyundai. That's a savings of over $8,000 on select all-wheel drive SUVs. Or ask about available 0% APR finance. Any other special offers? The nationally advertised specials by Hyundai that you see on TV are available here at Autoland. Like the 2024 Elantra SE with a payment of only $219 per month. Is Hyundai still offering three year 36,000 mile free complimentary maintenance? Yes we are and don't forget along with lower prices you also get Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's best warranty, 10 year 100,000 mile powertrain limited warranty, 5 year and 60,000 mile bumper to bumper coverage with every new Hyundai purchase. A direct from the Hyundai factory warranty. A warranty that gives you protection not excuses. Autoland Hyundai downtown Uniontown online at autolandhyundai.com or phone 724-437-9999 And remember you always pay less to drive the best at Auto and Hyundai. 
Laura Highlands the basketball after the timeout. This game now tied at 15. Layton in the far corner, back high on the left again to Ethan Koffler. Up top now to Aiden Black. It's a little Wildcat run back here after a couple of Mustang turnovers. Has this game knotted up, Tony? Yeah, they were able to come back on an 8-0 run right now and tie this game up. Here's Black, long two near wing off the side of the rim, no good. Layton knocking the rebound away from DeServe, keeping it alive down to Varney, lost the handle underneath, and the Wildcats will get the basketball back. Yeah, and a nice move by Layton to grab that. Now you're going to have Sevi Vecchiola check back in for Varney. But Varney just tried to put that ball on the floor and just dribbled it off his leg. Have it sent in here by Butler, no pressure defensively. For Laurel Highlands, down to 38 seconds left here in the opening quarters. Wetzel brings it across. Touch there from Jatan Williams. Back to Wetzel between the circles. Comes free off the screen. Scoops it down. While Williams comes free, try to scoop it up. Shot attempt didn't drop. Laurel Highlands the rebound as Aiden Black breaks back. Here's Black pulling up from the foul line. Dumped down low. Suchovitz, and he gets it to go out in front. So the first two off the bench for Lucas Suchovitz has Laurel Highlands back in the lead at 17 to 15. Mustangs a little pressure on the ball again. McNeil able to keep it alive to Butler, who fires a pass out in front. The basket and one for John Wetzel. Wetzel just with good position underneath there. A nice entry pass, and he's able to get it. And I think that's going to be on Layton. Be his second. And that's going to be his second. So that's a big foul. 9.6 seconds to go in the first, and he's going to pick up his second foul. Now Wetzel will give Raider Latrobe the lead. We'll get a late check in here as Brady Prohovic will check it on the Wildcats side. He'll come in for Ian DeSerb. And now Wetzel trying to cap off the three-point play with a made free throw. Missed some time early on in the season due to an injury coming off the football season. After Latrobe was in the WPIL quarterfinals again this year. And Wetzel's free throw attempt, no good. Another quick foul off the rebound. I think this one's going to go on the Wildcats. I think it is. It's going to be on McNeil. So McNeil is going to pick up his second, so he's going to be in the same boat with Layton. Only eight and a half seconds to go here, first quarter. Suchovich to trigger it in. Mustangs look for the last shot. Suchovich needs to hurry. Finally gets it into Vecchiola, has it deflected away. Vecchiola able to save it back to Layton, down to four, down to three. Suchovich back across to Koffler, needs to shoot, puts it off the glass, shot attempt, no good. We've reached the end of one for this game, tied at 17 here on the Sea Harbor Honor Group High School Sports Day on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live are back in 60 seconds. know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one -on -one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest, now try the best. NovaCare, Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Game tied at 17. Laurel Highlands and Greater Latrobe have to say hello to our buddy Ed Walensky watching from Sandy Howe Notary Services. And Tony, you can bet they're open for all of your notary needs on a Saturday afternoon. Every bit of on a cold, chilly Saturday afternoon. So on the Laurel Highlands side, they're led so far by Ethan Koffer with eight. Aid to serve off the Greater Latrobe bench has eight for the Wildcats. Now a little discussion here at the scores table. And I think they're actually asking about the possession arrow. And there was no change of possession. Laurel Highlands won the opening tip. So it's going to be Latrobe taking it out the beginning of the second quarter. Yeah, I don't recall any jump balls at no. all. Yeah, nothing happened there. In that opening quarter. So Max Butler will set it in here for the Wildcats from the far side. And Greater Latrobe working right to left, as we described, with our head coach Brad Wetzel in his 22nd year at the helm of the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. Of course, John Smith in his first year as head coach of the Mustangs. It'll dump down low to Williams, keeps it alive, resets out to Butler, spots up for the three, but out the front of the rim, no good, and Williams will tip away there from Vecchiola to keep it alive. And now McNeil reloading his three out the back iron, no good. Another offensive rebound out in front, but back up and in for Quadarius Davis for his first two of the game. Yeah, Davis just showed sheer athleticism there, just leaping over top 
Sevi Vecchiola for that rebound. Mustangs having trouble triggering it in here from Suchovitz. They turn it over, and Latrobe comes back and gets another quick two from Cal McNeil. So four unanswered to start the second quarter here for the Wildcats, who now lead it 21-17. And the thing of it is, the Mustangs were able to beat that press rather easily early on. Suchovitz turns it over again. Put out in front. Look at a basket and one here for Wetzel. And you hate to say it, Tony, but Suchovic has been a little bit of a liability since he's checked into the game. Yeah, he's a couple turnovers. Looks a little rusty right now. Checking back in is going to be Jaden Ringer. So Ringer going to check in for Suchovic. Suchovic has two on the day. Now Ringer in, as you said, and you'll have... Wetzel at the free throw line here for Greater Latrobe. He scored six. He misses only free throw attempts. It's up on the way and good. The seven for John Wetzel, and it's a 7-0 run for Greater Latrobe here to start the second quarter. Now Jaden Ringer to send it in into Vecchiola. Mustangs break the press. Vecchiola trying to send it back, but the only player there is Wetzel for the Wildcats. And Wetzel coming back, put it off the glass. Shot attempt, no good. McNeil trying to clean it up. Second attempt, no good. Looking for a third look there from Davis. It got blocked away, and finally Brennan Varney able to find the loose ball there for the Mustangs. Forward up to Black. He'll lean on the inside. Oh. And a charge call there on Aiden Black. That was a bang-bang play that went against the Mustangs. Bang-bang. I'm not so sure he even touched him, but Aiden Black's going to pick up his second foul, and that's going to be another big foul also. Actually thought he was able to use his body enough to get around it. Might have been a little bit of a flop, but either way, he's going to get called for his second. John Wetzel will bring it back across. What a turnaround here on the Greater Latrobe side. They were down eight in the opening quarter. Now lead by seven at 24 to 17 with 635 left before halftime. Yeah, it was 15 to seven at one time, Mustangs. So Mustangs, since that point in the game, Tony, have scored only two points. And the Wildcats bust another three here from Max Butler. His second made three. So it's a 10-0 run to start the second quarter for the Wildcats, who now lead it 27-17. Aiden Black, high feet off to Coffer on the far side. They're going to get McNeil here for a foul. That's going to be McNeil's third. Yeah. First of the quarter. They actually only had that post as a second and on the scoreboard. Five, okay. They have it posted as a second, so now you're going to have... But he's going to the bench. Ringer and Aiden Black. He's double teamed in the backcourt, needs a little help. Gets it there from Ringer. There's a 10-second count on, and Black able to bring it back across here on the near side. Aiden between defenders, floats it up and in. A little bank home there from Aiden Black. I think his first, what, 10 points against Union Tower are all bank shots on Tuesday. But the Wildcats break the press and serve. Yes, comes back with another quick two, and he has 10 off the Greater Latrobe bench here today. And the Wildcats lead back up to 10 to 29 to 19. And the Mustangs hit a little bail out there on a push call in front of the scores table. He had to serve trying to go after the loose ball there and is going to get called for his first foul. 5.45 left before halftime, 29-19 Wildcats. As Jaden Ringer will set it in here for Laurel Highlands. Mustangs off the break. Aiden Black will again get it here in the backcourts. Picked up there by Wetzel. Black looking for operating room. Has an open look for three up top. He'll take it. Too strong at the back iron. He had Martin going for the rebound. Got knocked down. No foul called. And the Wildcats find the loose ball. Williams through center. Out to Prohova coming near baseline. Hand off there to Butler. Try to throw back on the wing intended for Williams. He wasn't there. And it'll go into the backcourt where Williams will touch it down for an over and back violation. Yeah, Williams should have picked that up a little bit earlier. They're going to give the Mustangs pretty good possession yes. underneath under their own basket. Now Williams with a little equipment failure. Lost his shoe. <laughs> Give him a little time here to tie it up. I'll remind you, Monday is another Seahawk Piranha Group High School Sports Day. We'll have actually High School Sports Night. Uniontown traveling to South Moreland to take on the Scotties in a Section 3 4A matchup. We're on the air at 645 with our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show. Opening tip set for 730. Mustangs back in action Tuesday against Norwin. We'll have that game on both the WMBS and South Union Township Sports Network Facebook pages. Three ball from Koffler, too strong. The last touch going out of bounds off of Greater Latrobe. So Laurel Highlands will retain possession here in the Wildcats zone. Yeah, that three just a little long by Koffler, but off of Prohovic. The Mustangs retain possession on the far wing. Uniontown also in action on Tuesday against South Allegheny. That game both on the radio and on Facebook. Here's Aiden Black off on the far side. Koffer along too far. Corner no good. Katon Williams, the rebound, was double teamed and called for the travel. Good defense there from Becky Olin Martin. 
Yeah, not sure if it was a travel or a double dribble, but either way, Coach Wetzel, Wetzel questioned the call, but I think it was going to be one, one side or the other, either travel or the double dribble. The Mustangs are trying to fight their way back right now and led by as many as eight, now down ten with 5.04 left before halftime as Ethan Koffler will bounce it in. Luke Martin open on the far side, couldn't finish. Rebound tipped around, Ringer finds it back to Martin this time. Martin able to connect, so Luke Martin, his first two off the Laurel Highlands bench. Mustangs back to within eight, down 29 to 21. I like his game. I, I do think too. he's going to be a nice player for the Mustangs next year for sure. He is right now, but I think he's going to be even more integral next year. Yeah, seems to make a solid contribution every time he checks into the game. Here's Max Butler up top. Touching it off there to Wetzel. Back in the corner, Davis for three. Rattled out. And Jaden Ringer the rebound. Outlet pass four to Aiden Black. Coming back on a two-on-one. Aiden will take it. But not connect, though, on the little leaner. And for Hovick, the rebound there for Greater Latrobe. Touch from Butler. Sent forward to Williams, who pulls back on the near side. Wetzel drives. Couldn't finish. Foul caught off the rebound. Yeah, that was one where Aiden Black had to make that. They actually had numbers. They had two-on-one. Black took it by himself, but just couldn't get it to go. So that's going to be a foul there. That's going to be on Jaden Ringer. In the act. Interesting. To get a pair of free throws here for Quadarius Davis. I actually thought that foul was going to be on Seve Vecchiola. Latrobe, no one on the line. Davis first of two free throw attempts. No good. Davis, one of two Wildcats seniors on her before the start of the game. Along with Jatan Williams here on senior day. I think they're, going to, they're trying to check. I think John Smith is trying to check to see who the foul really was. They called it on Ringer, but I thought it was on Seve Vecchiola. Second of two free throws good that time for Davis. We'll now check out of the game. Has three points so far here today. And he's trying to make sure because if that would be on Ringer, that would be his third. He only had it posted as a second up yeah. on the scoreboard. Interesting. And Ringer will touch it forward here to Ethan Koffler trying to spin off of John Wetzel. Back to Aiden Black here, edge of the zone. Black trying to work off to his right. Now pinned up. Two defenders around him. Black able to get out of it. Fired to pass down to Martin. Lost the handle baseline. Goes out of bounds and back over to the Wildcats. And I'm not so sure that Martin lost the handle as much as it was tipped by Max Butler on the pass and then ricocheted off of Martin. So Latrobe to gain possession. But also have a substitute coming in. You got DJ Pratt coming in for the Mustangs. And Brad Wetz, a little vote of confidence there to Ian DeSerb. As those two had a little chat there in front of the Wildcats bench. As Coach Wetzel says, hey guys, let's go. Wildcats lead it by 9 at 30-21 to 21 with 3.52 left before halftime. Good ball movement coming free. DeServe laying it up and in. So DeServe taking Coach's orders correctly. Getting a quick basket there. He has 12. Wildcats lead now their largest of the afternoon at 32-21. to 21. Yeah, kick it back out. You didn't have numbers. That would have been a two-on-three break for the Mustangs. Vecchiola up top needs a little help. Gets it there from Koffler. He'll float it up right of the lane and get it to go. It's so Ethan Koffler and double figures with 10. Mustangs back to within 9 at 32-23. to 23. Coming back is Martin a miss. They'll try to keep it alive there from DeServe. Another miss out in front, but another Latrobe rebound. DeServe gets a third attempt on the possession. Couldn't connect there. The Wildcats get another offensive rebound. Wetzel going right back at it, leaning on the inside. One-handed shot, no good. This will be their fifth look on the possession. Wetzel, another miss. Yeah, another offensive rebound. That one tipped out of bounds off of the Mustangs. They had five shots there, Tony. Couldn't connect, but they're still going to have possession here in the Laurel Highland zone. Yeah, and what a change. We said early on in that first quarter, the Mustangs controlled the boards on both sides, but now they can't get a rebound to save their life. You know, John Wetzel triggering it in right of the basket in the Laurel Highland zone. Wetzel feeding it in. Underneath there to Butler, pulling it out to Davis. Send far side to serve. Now back up top, Butler for three out the front of the rim, no good. Rebound tipped around and controlled there by Ethan Koffler. Four to eight in black with numbers. Bounces it off to DJ Pratt, who gets his first two off the Laurel Highlands bench and has the Mustangs back to within seven at 32 to 25. And yeah, nicely run fast break right there. Koffler with the beautiful outlet pass and the two on one numbers. Wildcats, great ball movement again, and serve comes free underneath and lays it up and in. serve six here in the second. 14 for the game, and Laurel Highlands will take a timeout, so take one as well. 34-25, Greater Latrobe, 232 left before halftime. We're back in 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Welcome to Allstate, where saving on your auto insurance is kind of like a joy ride. You, your car, and an open road. Maybe your best friend, too. The music is chill, and so is the traffic. Allstate, here, better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands at Allstate. 
in Uniontown, call all state agent Russ Vallejo at 724-439-9700 to stop in Russ's office on Lebanon Avenue. All state and affiliates offer products and services subject to availability, terms, and conditions. Attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP wish the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and all of our local teams the best of luck this year. Watson Mundorf is a premier regional law firm whose experience and expertise empower it to not only be an advocate for its clients, but also provide them with exceptional service to exceed expectations. With offices in Uniontown and Connorsville, they are local and here to serve you. Call 724-626-8882 for attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt. Back here at Greater Latrobe High School, Brian Morozak alongside Sonia Anula, Billy Dice behind the camera on our Facebook Live video feed. And Nick Barczyk back inside our Davis & Davis Attorneys at Law Studios, 232 left before halftime, 34-25, the Wildcats lead the Mustangs. Now the little confusion there, I think John Smith wanted to get Nico Harum in the game, but not exactly sure what happened there. They wouldn't let him check in after the timeout. Sebi Vecchiola to work it in, and the ball deflected out of bounds. Now Harum will be able to check in. Should remain Laurel Highlands basketball. Yeah, that ball was knocked out of bounds by Jaton Williams. So now Harum going to check in. Harum's going to check in for Vecchiola. Harum gave the Mustangs some good minutes early on in the season. Hasn't seen as much playing time as of late. I think he was dinged up a little bit as well for Laurel Highlands. There's Aiden Black in the backcourt. Able to send it off to Ethan Koffler. Touch there from Harum. Harum a little pivot, needs help, gets it there on the backside from Koffler, cuts, puts it off the glass, couldn't finish there. Varney going for the rebound in traffic, but the Wildcats find it. They'll send it forward to Williams, looking for a hard feed down there to disturb. Deflected out of bounds off of Laurel Highlands, and the Wildcats retain possession, and Deserb making a living there, Tony, on that far block. I don't think he's taken a shot past one foot yet. Been very successful off the inbounds pass. High arcing three. McNeil no good. Offensive rebound. Davis misses on the putback. And Williams another offensive rebound there for the Wildcats. And they're out hustling the Mustangs to the basketball here in the second quarter after Laurel Highlands good block. dominated the glass early on. Varney had the block there on Williams. What was called for the foul. Wow. Varney's going to pick up his first. That's going to be the team fourth in this second quarter. Williams, who came in averaging 13 points a game for Greater Latrobe, will head to the free throw line. He's yet to score so far this afternoon. Had six against Gateway on Tuesday. First of two free throws here. Good for Jatan Williams. Williams, one of the only two seniors on this team. They were, all, they were honored earlier. It was Cordarius Davis and Jatan Williams. So congratulations to these two seniors. Wildcats have a lot coming back next season. Second of two free throws, no good from Williams. That one rattles out, but they get another offensive rebound from Wetzel. And Wetzel got tripped up and fouled on the floor. That's going to be on Koffler. It is. That's going to be his first. I actually Mustang thought McNeil was kind of making a move there. I'm sorry, Wetzel was making a move there. Mustangs over the limit here in the second quarter, so it'll be two free throws for Wetzel. Yeah, I actually thought he kind of tripped over Koffler. I didn't think he... Moved his foot out or anything, but it's going to pick up the foul. And Wetzel connects on the first of two free throw attempts. The so Wetzel with eight points so far this afternoon. Pratt going to check back out. Vecchiola going to check back in for the Mustangs. Now Wetzel is second of two free throws. This one up on the way and short again from Wetzel. Mustangs a rebound this time. They're down 11 at 36 to 25 with 148 left before halftime. Yeah, only scoring eight points so far in the second quarter. Harum coming free, putting it off the glass and in. So Nico Harum, his first two off the Laurel Highlands bench. And a deflection here on the near side. And that one going off a of greater Latrobe and out. So Laurel Highlands will get it back. It's 36-27 Wildcats, 133 left before halftime. Yeah, nice anticipation on that pass by Vecchiola. Step in the passing lane and get the steal. Here's Black again up top. Going back to Ethan Koffler. Koffler fronted there by John Wetzel. Koffler needs help. I'm trying to get it away. Is that a five-second count? It is. Yes, it is. On Ethan Koffler. Now he picked up his dribble in a dangerous spot there right across the timeline. Really had no place to go. Good defense there by Latrobe. Just blocked off every avenue that he had to make a pass. Wildcats will send it back in there with Max Butler. Into the backcourt to John Wetzel. 75 seconds left in the second quarter. Williams and Wetzel play catch. It's going to be an illegal screen there on McNeil. That'll be his third personal. That's going to be his third. 
And that was kind of a block. I mean, that was, he just kind of put that forearm out there, gave a little shiver there trying to set that screen. That's why I got whistled down. <laughs> yep, so he's going to get called it for his third, a minute 10 to go here, second quarter. 36-27, Wildcats over the Mustangs. Is Aiden Black working left to right. Bring it back across. Varney to set the screen. Black trying to set it over to Harem. Got deflected. Ball still loose. Saved by Varney. Take it right to the basket. Put it off the glass. Shot attempt. No good. Varney battling for the rebound. But it's the Wildcats that find it. Williams trying to push it forward. Lost the handle. Koffler says thank you very much on the Laurel Highland side. Up to Aiden Black. Black and across here with 43 seconds left in the quarter. Black fouled by Wetzel. They're going to call Wetzel on the reach. Black trying to make a move, trying to drive down the sideline there, and Wetzel just kind of jumped in his way. Wetzel's first, team fourth. So you're going to have Pratt check back in. Now going to give Aiden Black a little breather, probably for the last 44 seconds of this half. Pratt will trigger it in with Williams fronting Pratt. It goes into the backcourt there to Koffler. Ethan double-teamed, needs a little help, bounces it over to Pratt. Back to Koffler here on the near side and back across. Ethan Floater right of the lane, in and out. Battle for the rebound, deflected over to Varney, and he got fouled by Max Butler. So that'll be the 15th foul of the quarter on the Wildcats. So Varney will have a pair of free throws here for Laurel Highlands. Wildcats, Varney, two, Max yet to get in a scoring column here today. That came in averaging about three and a half points a game. Varney for the season, 10 of 17 from the free throw line, 59%. Again, Laurel Highlands is the team shooting 64%. Mustangs only two for two here today. Only two foul shots early on. Varney first of two free throw attempts here. Good. The first point of the game for Brennan Varney. 36-28 Greater Latrobe. 31 seconds left until halftime. Now Varney is second of two on the way and good for Brennan Varney. So Mustangs trying to creep back, Tony. They're within seven now. 36-29. Final 30 seconds of the second quarter. Yeah, need to get a stop here. Don't give up any points before the half. Go in only down seven. Butler at Sunk, swinging it over to Williams. Back to Butler. Sends it down to DeServe, and this time DeServe cutting on the near baseline and getting the two to go. DeServe with 16 off the Greater Latrobe bench. Down to eight seconds left in the quarter. Koffler up top. Mustangs down nine. It's go time for Laurel Highlands. Koffler cutting, trying to pull it back out there to Harem. Back to Koffler, the buzzer. It will not count. The shot came up short anyway. And at halftime, it's Greater Latrobe 38. Laurel Highlands 29. Stay tuned for our halftime show. Brought to you by the Radcliffe Martin Law Firm. It comes your way next here on WMBS, Tribe High School Sports Network, the South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family-owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. On the go? No time to stop? That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724-626-9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be, in the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy, your local pharmacy. Right. 
ready to update your home? Find what you need at Zen's Construction Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. They'll answer your questions and get you started on your next home project. Conveniently located at 485 Walnut Hill Road in Continental. Zen's is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. For more information, call 724-366-8274 or visit Zen's Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zen's Construction Warehouse, their surplus is your savings. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Sova & Son Body and Fender Repair. Currently in their 61st year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Sova & Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repairs, and glass installation. They'll gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they'll work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Sova and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it's the goal of Ted Sova and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Take it from me, Matt Sapienza, an actual satisfied customer. Call 724-437-2351 for Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair, LLC. Family owned and operated for 61 years. Always proud to support local high school sports. The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood is a veterans organization located in Fayette County since 1950. They are proud to advertise on WMBS sports programs and to contribute to the Veterans Hospital, local sports teams, and scouting organizations. Best of luck to all of our local teams from the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Prime Rosak, Tony Hinola back here at Greater Latrobe High School where the Wildcats lead the Laurel Highlands Mustangs by a score of 38-29. to 29. Tony, is your halftime stats. They're brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Green County. All right, for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs in that first half, they were led by Ethan Koffler, who had 10 points. <laughs> a bunch of Mustangs in the scoring column here early on. Aiden Black followed with four. A made three by Jaden Ringer. Two points from Sevi Vecchiola, Brennan Varney, Luke Martin, Nico Harum, DJ Pratt, and Lucas Suchovic. So Nine players. A lot of Mustangs in the scoring column early, but only 29 points to show for it. 17 in the first, only 12 points in the second for their total of 29. And they were four for four from the foul line. Three made threes in that first half, two by Koffler in the first quarter, and one by Jaden Ringer also in the first quarter. For the Greater Latrobe Wildcats, they were led in the first half by Ian DeSerb. He had 16 points, eight in the first, eight in the second. Six points from Max Butler, eight points from John Wetzel, four points from Kyle McNeil, uh, three points from Quadarius Davis, and one point from Jaton Williams on a made three. They scored 17 in the first, 21 in the second for their total of 38. Two made threes, both of those by Max Butler in the first half, and they were six for 10 from the foul line in that first half. And, Tony, we have to send our condolences out to the family of Bruce Beard, one of our longtime sponsors here on WMBS. Unfortunately, Bruce passed away down in Hilton Head on Thursday. And, again, we thank Bruce for his support over the years and uh, wish his family the best really going through a tough time. And I was really shocked when I found out yesterday morning that Bruce had passed away. Yeah, and we all were. Bruce was a good guy. I knew him for a long time, actually. <laughs> had, uh, had a few good times with him, no doubt. But he was a great guy, and uh, he's going to be missed. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, certainly our condolences go out to the family of Bruce Beard. Here at halftime, 38-29, the Greater Latrobe Wildcats leading the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. We're back in the second half in three and a half minutes here on WMBS Tribe High School Sports Network, the South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live. This is Jim Detweiler wishing you Happy New Year from Thurby's Riverside Ford. We are pleased to announce our 2023 model year clearance sale. New Ford incentives have just been announced, and we've got some fantastic deals for you. All new 2023 Ford Escape, Edge, and Explorers come with 0% for 36 months. All new 2023 Ford F-150 pickups 
the best-selling truck on the planet, come with 2.9% for 72 months. Plus, we just received a fresh load of new Bronco Sports, and they come with 0% for 36 months. We have the inventory, and we have the deals. Derby's Riverside Ford Sales, your presidential award-winning dealer, located one mile past Lady Luck Casino on Route 40. Offer expires January 31st, 2024. Ford credit financing is required. See Joey, Sammy, Jimmy, or Ashley. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes. Fatty liver is the buildup of excess fat in liver cells and affects about 100 million people in the U.S. Risk factors include being overweight, diabetes, high cholesterol, and hypertension. If you have fatty liver, our team at U.S. Digestive Health urges you to talk to your doctor about getting a blood or ultrasound-based test to check for liver scarring that can lead to cirrhosis. For more information, call us at 724-437-7677. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprouls Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and it's not available in all states. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with white glove service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Novacare Rehabilitation is now in Masontown. Using a personalized plan of care and one-on-one -on -one sessions, Novacare gives you an advantage in rehabilitation. Dr. Haley Cruiser and our professional staff are certified to use industry-leading treatments, including LVST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks. These services supplement Novacare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call our new Masontown office on Route 21 McClellan Town Road at 724-491-5220. Ready to start the third quarter here at Greater Latrobe High School. Brian Morozak alongside Tony Hanula, Billy Dice behind the camera, and our Facebook Live video feed. And Nick Barczyk back inside our Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law Studios. Our live video feed here on WMBS, courtesy of Ted Sylvan, Sun Body and Fender Repair, and MNR Transit on the South Union Township Sports Network by Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Union Town. Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, SWGI, now U.S. Digestive Health, the Sprouse Insurance Group, and insurance agent David Hughes, the UPMC Rehabilitation Institute, and physical therapist Jim Burns, and South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick. Fernan and Jason Scott. Mustangs turn it over. Greater Latrobe coming back on the other side. A little lean and a make from Max Butler. A little contact down there, Tony. Thought a foul could have been caught on either way, especially with Butler leaning in, but the whistle stay quiet and the two good from Butler as the lead extended to 11 at 40 to 29, but Aiden Black comes back and gets a quick two for the Mustangs. Black two in every quarter. He has six. Laura Highlands back to within nine in the tempo of this game. Picking up and a basket and one there for John Wetzel. He's now in double figures with 10. Wildcats go back up 11 at 42 to 31. Yeah, they're going to call that foul on Vecchiola on the reach. And I thought actually Seve drew the foul on the other side, the last possession on the charge, but nothing was called underneath. I thought he had pretty good position. But now now Wetzel, Wetzel looking for another and one. Free throw attempt up on the way and good. So 11 points for John Wetzel, and the Greater Latrobe lead at 12 at 43 to 31. Here's Aiden Black out of his own zone. No look feed off to Ringer. Had it lost and able to regain through back on the wing, but Wetzel the only player there for Greater Latrobe. He'll send a no look feed off to the Serb who cuts and scores. What a game so far for Ian to Serb, Tony, with 18. The Serbs, <laughs> and everything's been a layup. Nothing further away than two feet from the basket. 45-31, Wildcats by 14. 
Vacciola, his feed deflected. Williams threw it off his teammate and out, and the Mustangs will get it back. Yeah, Seve should have taken that ball baseline, take it to the basket, try to pick up the foul or make something. But he tried to make a cross-court pass. A couple Latrobe defenders in the way of the passing lane. He gets sent in there from Koffler. They'll set it around the horn. Near side again to Ringer. Now Ringer looking to cut. Back out to Layton. Layton coming far baseline. Lost the dribble. Send it over to Koffler. will scoop one up and in. Ethan Koffler now with 12. Laurel Highlands trying to creep back into this one. It's 45-33. Williams comes back on the other side. Gets his first field goal of the game. Made a free throw back in the second quarter. And the Mustangs. Having a little trouble here, bringing it out of their own zone, but Koffer able to send it forward to Aiden Black. Black coming far baseline, will get fouled there by Max Butler. Yeah, that was actually a pretty nice play there by Aiden Black. Kind of leaned into Butler a little bit and drew the foul. Actually thought he was going to make the shot at the same time. But Butler's going to pick up his second foul, and it's going to send Black to the line for the first time today. Black so far has scored six points, again two in every quarter. For the season, 64% from the free throw line in the first of two here. Spins out. Also have to send a hello out to Uniontown Mayor Bill Gerke. Mayor Gerke couldn't make it out to the game today, but watching on our Facebook Live video feed and hope the mayor's doing well. Hope to see him out at the games again soon. Appreciate his support of local high school basketball here on WMBS. Second of two free throws. Again, no good from Aiden Black and Greater Latrobe another rebound. Here's Wetzel coming back. Wetzel had it poked away. Leighton had it, threw it right to Jatuan Williams on the Latrobe side and kind of going back and forth here. And somehow the Mustangs regaining there, Tony. Yeah, I'm not so sure how that happened. Leighton with a pass and then got it back somehow. And now Koffler from the near elbow jumper, no good. Rebound deflected around. Williams finds it there for Latrobe. Forward to Wetzel, and John Wetzel comes back and finishes again for the Wildcats. Wetzel, five here in the third, 13 for the game. Timeout greater Latrobe, 6.02 left here in the third, 49-33. Wildcats are back in 60 on the CR Product Group High School Sports Day. For attorney Melinda Delarose, helping people with compassionate counseling, candid legal advice, strong advocacy, and professional commitment is what she does best. With an office at 99 East Main Street in downtown Uniontown, attorney Delarose specializes in family law, municipal law, and general civil litigation, as well as personal injury, estate planning, probate, and more. For more information, call attorney Melinda Delarose at 724-437-3200. That's 724-437-3200 or online at DelaroseLaw.com. <laughs> Are you considering a project design and don't know where to start? K2 Engineering offers a wide range of professional civil, architectural, and municipal services to meet your individual project needs. Our versatility combined with our personalized approach is what sets us apart as a full-service engineering and consultation firm. To learn more about our services, please visit us on the web at www.k2engineering.net. K2 Engineering, where customer service is our priority. Back here at Greater Latrobe High School, Earl Highlands, the basketball down 16 at 49 to 33, 547. Left here in the third quarter is Aiden Black back down the baseline to Shane Layton. Layton got too deep, trying to reposition, sends it out to Koffler. He'll take the three from the far side and hit it. So Ethan Koffler continues to be hot from outside the three-point arc. His third made three of the game. He has 15 points. The Mustangs back to within 13 at 49 to 36. We'll get a steal here from Jaden Ringer. Will be a clean steal. Looks like it. I think the foul's going to go here on Butler. It will. It is going to go on Butler, and actually probably a smart play by Butler. He's going to pick up his third foul, but the thing of it was, Ringer is going to have a wide open layup on the other side. So Butler picks up his third. And right saves on that two time. points. Would have been an uncontested oh, nice two. play. But the Mustangs turn it over. Wetzel, what an intercept coming back. And they'll get the basket in one here from Butler, who cut on the far side and got fouled, got nailed in the head, cut into the basket. Yeah, they're going to call that on Aiden Black. So Black now with his third foul. And Butler now with 10 points for Greater Latrobe. Lead back up to 51 to 36. And Margin at 15 with 524 left here in the third. Yeah, and what a save that was it by was. Wetzel on this side just to kind of grab it and flick it behind his back. Just a great overall athlete as yep. Butler misses the free throw. He talked about some of the football offers he has so far. Only a junior and a heck of a basketball player as well for the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. And he's all over Aiden Black here. He's able to keep it alive in the corner to Shane Layton. Layton out in front. Will bounce it far side. Koffer looking for another three. This time an air ball goes right to DeServe. Forward here to Davis. Pushed ahead to Butler. Back in the corner. Going there to Wetzel who will hand off near block and the finish again. Max Butler. So Butler six here in the third. 12 for the game. Latrobe 
extending the lead now back to 17 at 53 to 36. Ooh. Here's Aiden Black back through center, folded up left of the lane, trying to bank it in, he does just that. Aiden Black now with eight Mustangs, back to within 15 at 53 to 38. For the Wildcats, quickly down the court, little Mustang block there on the shot attempt from DeServe. And Laurel Highlands with the basketball back in the Wildcat zone. Pull up long too far side. Aiden Black, no good little tip out there from Becky Ola. Keeps it alive to Layton who drains the three. So Shane Layton connecting upon his 13th made three of the season. First points of the night come from outside the three-point arc. And Laurel Highlands back to within 12. Yeah, and we saw Layton make three threes in that Unitown game on Wednesday night. Right there taking his first of the day and knocking that one down. Great ball moving again on the Wildcats side. And who else to serve? I don't have to look out there, Tony, to see who has the ball out in front. It's to serve almost every time. He's, I'll tell you what, just establishing position underneath, and he's wide open for every pass. Has 20 points. The Wildcats lead at 14 now at 55-41. to 41. Ringer trying to set the screen as Black operates high on the right. Wetzel in his face, and Black turns it over. To the right to Jatuan Williams. who will send it forward here to Wetzel. Back to Jatuan on the little give and go. And Williams with the finish. So Williams four here in the third. Five for the game. 57-41 Wildcats. 335 left here in the third. Little pivot for Moringer. Working right of the lane up top again to Koffler. Has a seam, takes it, puts it up. Wow. And gets the basket to go in one. Ethan Koffler. Koffler, seven here in the third. 17 for the game. He'll have a free throw up coming for the Mustangs with 329 left in the third. It's 57-43. They're going to call that foul on Davis. That's going to be his second foul. But it's Koffler's going to go to the line here. Koffler on the season shooting, what, 76% uh, from the line. Yeah, 32 of 42 coming into this game, averaging 11.9 points a game, 5'9". Senior guard for the Mustangs. Koffler trying to connect upon the three-point play. Free throw attempt here is no good. And the rebound goes right to Max Butler. The Mustangs have given away some points at the foul line here today, no doubt. They have for Hovick looking for Williams. It was deflected, though, by Laurel Highland, so no over and back violation. Williams comes back down the court. A little handoff to his left pivot there from Kyle McNeil and deflected out of bounds off of Laurel Highlands and outs. And it will stay. Greater will throw basketball here in the Mustang zone. And good hustle from end to end by Jaden Ringer. Yes. Really went for the steal on the other side on the backcourt and then poked that ball out of bounds there. So good hustle by Jaden. And he touching the game for the first time on the Wildcats side. Sending it in. Leighton on the ball, forcing another turnover for Laurel Highlands. Touch from Varney. Over to Koffer. We'll try to bring it across. He's fronted there by Prohovic. Koffer now into the Wildcats zone. Koffer taking it right to the basket and puts it up and in. It's Ethan Koffer, 9 here in the third, 19 for the game. 57-45. Mustang still within striking distance. They're down 12 with 2.48 left here in the third. Yeah, Koffler trying to keep the Mustangs in this game pretty much by himself. And, and a travel there on Prohovic. Yeah, Prohovic trying to make a move and just shuffled his feet there a little bit. So the Mustangs are not out of this game yet, Brian. Down 12, still a lot of time left. 2.46 to go in the third plus the fourth quarter. I mean, if they can get on a little run, get right back into this game. They're just joining us. Laurel Highlands had an eight-point lead in the opening quarter, led 15-7. to seven. Wildcats came back on a run. Game was tied at 17 after one quarter of play. Wildcats went on a 10-0 run to start the second quarter. We've kind of been right around that margin of the game so far. Mustangs turn it over. Wildcats had an opportunity. There's Butler went for the save, but threw it right to Ethan Koffler. So Laurel Highlands back on the basketball in the Wildcats zone. Touched by Ringer. Far corner late. He'll take a step side three, but it's an air ball as he tried to work off to his left there around a defender. Wildcats get the rebound. Yeah. The foul called. No, a travel no, it's gonna call be a travel, there. Yeah. To serve. No, it's a good call. To serve actually was kind of, he was going to drive to the back. Basket and Ringer kind of stepped in the lane there. DeServe shuffled his feet, and he's going to get called for the travel. A lot of times you see those step back threes, but late in that time had a little sidestep three, trying to free himself away from a defender, but was unable to connect upon the three. And the Mustangs, though, will get the basketball back here down 12 with 216 left in the third at 57 to 45. Yeah, DJ Pratt in. Suchovich checking back in for the Mustangs. Suchovich will get the basketball here, will bounce it over to Layton. Forward to Pratt, and the pass is intercepted, but ruled out of bounds. DeServe was on the near boundary line and out, so the Mustangs fortunate to retain possession here at midcourt. Yeah, he had that. DeServe actually had that steal, but just stepped on the sideline, so the Mustangs fortunate to retain possession there. DJ Pratt will work it back in. He'll bounce it in here to Koffler. He'll take the three and hit it again. Ethan Koffler now with 12 here in the third. 
He has 20 for, check that, 22 for the game. And he's nailed four threes. And the Mustangs have cut this down to single figures at 57 to 48. Well, you can see he just kind of, he, he has the feeling here today. I'd get it to him every yes. time down the court right now. He's hot right now. And the Wildcats turn it over and oh, went off a Mustang foot and out. Yeah, but I'm not so sure how you do that. He called that as he called it a kick, but it was off the foot of Varney. Anyway, you're going to have Quadarius Davis check back in. You're going to give Jaton Williams a senior for a senior. Wetzel into Davis, open in the corner for three, came up short. Wildcats will be called for over the back there to serve off the rebound, called for the foul. And good position there by Ethan Coughlin. Good block out. And really, the serve with the height advantage. Yes. But the good block out by Coughlin, able to draw that foul. And now you'll have Leighton triggering in for Laurel Highlands. Mustangs had trouble on these trigger in passes today, but this time are able to get it in to Coughlin. In the corner to Pratt. Pratt trying to come near baseline on Davis. Rotates up to the wing, lost the dribble. Davis will poke away, and it went off of DJ Pratt now. So the Wildcats get the basketball back. And we get a timeout taken here by the Mustangs. 132 left here in the third, 57-48. Greater Latrobe, we're back in 60 on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. For funeral services from pre-need to at-need, burial or cremation, call Gates Funeral Home and Crematory, located at 136 North Gallatin Avenue in a beautifully restored historic home. Family owned and operated by Rick Gates, former Brownsville resident and Guyville alumni, the Gates Funeral Home and Crematory offers warmth, convenience, affordability, and ample parking. With a knowledgeable funeral director and compassionate staff, the Gates family and the Gates Funeral Home and Crematory are ready to assist you. Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth, hey, maybe it's just time for a new set of dentures. If that's the case, check out Uniontown Dental Associates, located at 7829 National Pike in Uniontown. They can make you new dentures faster than other offices, and in most cases, can offer same-day denture repairs. They also offer teeth whitening, clear braces, and single-visit crowns. Just call their office for your appointment today at 724-438-0241, or visit their Facebook page for more information. 57 to 48, the Greater Latrobe Blount Cancel in the Laurel Highlands Mustangs with 132 left here in the third quarter. Greater Latrobe with the basketball working left to right as we describe it as John Wetzel bring it back across, fronted there by Ringer. Sent on the wing to Butler and a dump down low to Serb again. Another finish out in front for the Wildcats. 22 for Ian to Serb tonight. Lead at 59 to 48, 75 seconds left here in the third quarter. Pratt double teamed and turns it over. Intercept, Max Butler takes it right to the basket and lays it up and in. Max Butler, eight here in the third, 14 for the game. And the Mustangs cough it up again as Ringer hit the deck. And now Davis in the corner takes the three, came up short to serve the offensive rebound on the backside. Pulls it out on the wing again to John Wetzel, who fire it near side again to Davis. Dumps down to Butler, hands off out in front to Wetzel, pulls it back out again on the far wing. The Mustangs getting a little sloppy here, Tony, in the closing minute of this third quarter is to serve another make out in front. Well, DeServe probably shooting about 90% from the field here today. And double nice team trap. Ringer gets it over to Pratt. Mustangs got to get it over. Again, yep. And Pratt able to do just that out in front. Now Pratt pulling it out to such of its three far wing in and outs. Pratt going for the rebound. And you had DeServe pick it up, but he was out of bounds. So Laurel Highlands with the basketball back here in the Wildcats zone down 15 at 63 to 48 with 22 seconds left here in the third quarter as Luke Martin will check it on the Mustang side for Brennan Varney. Brady Prohovic back in for John Wetzel for the Wildcats. Well, and you got to think that the Mustangs are going to hold for the last shot, 22.8 to go. You're going to have Ringer send it in. Into Vecchiolo, just lost it out of bounds in front of the Wildcats cheerleaders. Just not a good pass, that's all. <laughs> just out of the reach of Vecchiola. And a turnover, and surely Latrobe's going to hold for the last shot here. And Laurel Island's really has struggled on some of these inbounds passes here today. They're down at 13 seconds left in the quarter. Wildcats likely holding here for the last shot. Kyle McNeil. Top again to Williams between the circles. Watched by Ringer. Fires a pass down low and fighting off the double team and getting another two to go is Max Butler. Butler, 10 here in the third, 16 for the game. That'll end the quarter for the Wildcats now up 65 to 48 over Laurel Highlands. And we're back with a fourth and 60 here in the CR Product Group High School Sports Day. 
afford a union down and trade me in. John Clinton with Dominic Carbone from seven-time president award-winning Ford Union Town. Dom, is it true we have over 90 pre-owned vehicles on the lot? John, we have more pre-owned vehicles now than we've ever had. Cars, trucks, SUVs, we got them. Both Ford and non-Ford, most are certified with factory warranty and competitive rates. So, John, what's new with new? Well, Dom, I'm glad you asked. Listen to this. All 2023 F-150s have 1.9% for up to 72 months. That's right. XLs, XLTs, Lariats, all models except for Raptor. And get this, Ford has a huge push on all 2023 SUVs with great rates on Escape, Edge, Bronco Sport, and don't forget the Explorer and Expedition. Stop, click, or call for complete details. Remember, we still offer online maintenance appointments and no charge pickup and delivery to your work and home. Your car knows, shouldn't you? That's 40 Uniontown on top of the hill across from Applebee's or 40uniontown.com. Must finance the Ford Motor Credit. Not all buyers will qualify. Ready to start the fourth quarter here at Greater Latrobe High School. The Greater Latrobe Wildcats a 65-48 lead over the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Ethan Koffler facing the way for Laurel Highlands with 22 in to serve. 23 on the Greater Latrobe side. And Tony, every time we do a Greater Latrobe game, certainly missing the longtime voice of the Wildcats, Dow Carnahan. Hard to believe coming up on eight years since Dow had passed away back in 2016. He won multiple Pennsylvania Association of Broadcasters awards, including best play-by-play -play and best vocal newscast. Was a PA announcer for Lernerville Motordrome and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Motor Speedways, and also did a great job over at St. Vincent College doing a lot of their games as well. And Really not the same coming to a Greater Latrobe game without seeing Dow around. Yeah, one of those well-known figures around the community, and you're right. It's just hard to believe that 2016, yes. the time has passed that fast. Yes. Underneath, Max Butler for Greater Latrobe, double teamed and fouled underneath. It's going to be on Layton. They're going to get called for the hold. Oh, no, they're going to call that on Jaden Ringer. So Ringer's third foul. So we're going to get timeouts. Just 25 seconds. It'll be a full timeout into this fourth quarter. 65-48 Wildcats over the Mustangs. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group. High School Sports Day. When you are looking to make some extra cash for your aluminum cans, visit Cherokee Recycling, where aluminum can is king. Cherokee Recycling is open Monday through Friday, 9 till 5, and Saturdays, 8 till 12 noon, closed Sundays and holidays. Give Marcus or Rags a call today at 724-439-3228 for Cherokee Recycling, where recycling makes the most sense. Brewston Chiropractic Studio is the new chiropractic office in town. Located inside Spin Unlimited, just behind the Texas Roadhouse, Dr. Stephen Lint and Dr. Brooke Sova are well-versed in the latest chiropractic and soft tissue techniques to help you get out of pain and functioning at your best. Call 724-912-6505 or go online at www.brewstonwellness.com for more information or to schedule your appointment. 65-48, the Greater Latrobe Wildcats leading the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, 7:35 left here in the fourth quarter, coming out of the timeout. Greater Latrobe with the basketball as they send it in to Max Butler. Also have to thank Greater Latrobe Athletic Director Zach Hyde for his help here today as well, Tony, getting us all set up and a nice broadcast location. Always does a great job here. Heading up the athletic department for Greater Latrobe. i got to say, Ziggy always takes care of us. Yes, There's he does. no doubt about that. Mustangs force the turnover. Koffler pulling it back to Ringer. Ringer down the lane. Had deflected out of bounds. Kind of a half pass, half shot. Wetzel the last to touch it. And the Mustangs will have possession back here in the Greater Latrobe zone. with 7-10 left in the fourth quarter. Wildcats up 65-48. to As Koffler sends it into Ringer. Back near side, Aiden Black. A little ball fake trying to work around. Kyle McNeil pulls it back to Ethan Koffler. Koffler spinning and just lost it going up. And Jatuan Williams says thank you very much. Finds loose ball there for the Wildcats. Forward to Wetzel. Bouncing it down to Davis. Back out again to Wetzel. Go cross court near side. Pull down McNeil. Reset up top. Butler far side to Wetzel who drains the three. 17 for John Wetzel. And the lead now up to an even 20. at 68 to 48 for Greater Latrobe. Koffler out of his zone zone. Over to Aiden Black and across. Black handing off Vecchio, a little duck, and then went back up for the shot attempt. It got blocked there by Quadarius Davis. A couple ball fakes there by Vecchio, but Quadarius Davis was hanging back and looking for that block. So nice block, and now you're going to have 
Sawyer Butina yeah, checking in. For, first time we've seen Butina tonight. Yep, checking in for Max Butler. Now Coff were to send it in here for the Mustangs. We'll probably see more substitutions here late with the margin at 20 points. Inbounds pass quickly deflected back out. So Laurel Highlands will reload here with 632 left in regulation. Again, more high school basketball on WMBS Monday night. Uniontown traveling to South Moreland to take on the Scotties. On the air at 645 with our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show. Opening tip set for 730. Jatan Williams will bring it back across. Williams pinned up left of the lane. High pullback and a nice save there from John Wetzel high on the left. Wetzel back at in the corner again to Williams. Spots him for the three and he'll spin this one in. Gatwan Williams now with eight. His first made three of the game increases the lead now to 23 at 71 to 48. Yeah, Williams making a three on senior day. Koffler switch back up top. Ringer deep three. Good. Jaden Ringer showing some range there, Tony. Ringer with six first points for the Mustangs here in the fourth quarter. It's 71 to 51 as we go under six minutes left here in regulation time. Yeah, Ringer with a made three in the first and a made three in the fourth. Patina out of the corner. Back over to Williams up top. Now near side, Quadarius Davis. Got to work on Koffler. Pulls it back to Patina. Another touch from John Wetzel. Wetzel going cross court far side. Davis is spot up for the three and hit it again. Quadarius Davis now with six. Wildcats hot from the outside here in the fourth quarter with three made threes. Three made threes and both seniors making threes here. Davis and. Williams. 74-51. Coffer looking to answer back. His three ball off the back iron. No good. Rebound underneath. Pulled down by Kyle McNeil. Ooh. There for Greater Latrobe. Forward and across in traffic there to Wetzel. Trying to work around Aiden Black. Double team comes over from Ringer. Goes cross court near side to Davis. He'll spot up for another three. That one's spinning out. Rebound deflecting around and finally controlled there by the Mustangs. Ethan Koffler. Yeah, Koffler able to corral that one luckily. And now still full court pressure being applied by Latrobe. Wildcats still playing hard, as are the Mustangs. As we go under five minutes left here in the fourth quarter, a little push as Ringer took it baseline far side for Laurel Highlands. Going to call that foul on Wetzel on the push. And you're right, Ringer trying to drive baseline there. Was actually looking to flip it out, didn't have a shot. But Wetzel's going to pick up the foul. Ramon Williams now checking in for the first time on the Greater Latrobe side. Need to serve back in. Again, to serve as led Greater Latrobe with 23 off their bench here today. Really has played well, getting most of his points right around the cylinder. Coffer missing there on a three from up top for Laurel Highlands. Ramon Williams, the rebound there for Greater Latrobe. Touch from Wetzel and then deflected off the hands of DeServant out. So Laurel Highlands will get the basketball back. They'll have Brennan Varney checking in along with Nico Harum. Yeah, and actually DeServ saying that that was his fault, but thought that pass was just out of his reach. Wetzel with a good idea, but just a little bit too far for DeServ to make that catch. Aiden Black back across here for Laurel Highlands. Black from the far wing coming in. Foul caught on the floor. That's going to be on Ramon Williams who just checked in. So Williams picks up his first foul. foul. He's joking with Craig Spizak, one of our officials here today. It seems like we've done more games that Craig's officiated than any other <laughs> official so far this season. I've seen Craig at least a half dozen times as Ethan Koffler floats another one up and in. And Koffler now with a game high 24. Uh, we talked to Craig a little bit earlier, and he's getting ready. He's the head coach of Norwin Baseball. Nice. Said they've been in the gym here lately and ready to go. Norwin always a solid baseball program. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's mentoring a good program for sure. Wildcats kick in the corner. There's Max Butler for three, in and out. Long rebound controlled by the Mustangs, Aiden Black. Aiden back across. Aiden on the far side of top, Jaden Ringer near side. Nico Harum high arcing three in and outs. Rebound pulled down by Latrobe's Max Butler. Butler out of his own zone. Butler front of there from Koffler. Near side, Ramon Williams. Now over to John Wetz. I know, Tony, we're looking forward to some fun tonight. We're headed out to Mallard's Landing at Dunk Hollow Golf Course. Big benefit night at the races for Laurel Highlands baseball team tonight. I know we're all fired up for that. I'm ready for it. I can tell you. It'll be a good time as it always is. To serve another make for Greater Latrobe. And now he's surpassed Koffler with a game high 25. 76-53. Koffler long too far. Wing partially blocked into the hands of Max Butler. Then turns it over on the Wildcats side. But it was last touch going out off of Jaden Ringer. I know you have your horse picked out already for tonight, ready to 
bet on all the races. You probably can't say what your no, I can't name is say what no, I can't say what the name. Is. Normally, I go soon to be glue, but I can't. I can't really say what the horse's name is tonight. We even so. have Nick Barczyk joining us tonight. From yeah, our it's Davis and Davis attorneys at Law Studios. Looking forward to a lot of fun. Star-studded night at the races. You got Billy Dice, Brian Rozak, yeah. Nick Barczyk. I mean, you can't beat it. It's a date night for all of us too. Yeah. McNeil, yeah. <laughs> McNeil missing on a floater. Even our wives agreed, which is hard to believe. 303 left in the fourth. Ringer lost. Didn't look out here. McNeil breaking back, but Ringer back into the play. Good deflection away there for Laurel Highlands. Tell you what, Ringer has not quit playing. I got to give him credit. He's Got a lot of fourth hustle. quarter. Yes, he has all the way around. He's going to sleep good tonight. There's no doubt about that. Again, Laura Highlands back in action Tuesday against Norwin. We'll have the game for you on the WMBS Facebook page. Also, senior night for the Mustangs. We'll have two games on the air Monday. Also, Uniontown taking on South Allegheny. That game both on the radio and on Facebook. A little lean and a miss there from Andy Tatch. And a foul call there off the rebound. I think they're going to call that on Davis underneath. Oh, no, they're going to call it on McNeil. So, McNeil going to get called for the push. That's going to be his fourth, but really at this time with a 23-point lead, not too damaging. Aiden Black up top for Laurel Highlands. Aiden looking for operating room. Sends it on the baseline. Mustangs couldn't get the handle there. You would both Suchovich and Martin in the vicinity. Neither could haul it in. A few more substitutions for Greater Latrobe. Daniel Noonan in for the first time, and Sawyer Bettina re-entering. Yeah, and really just had two Mustangs there, and they couldn't decide who wanted the ball more. Such a bit your Luke Martin. 233 now left in the fourth. Patina off to Noonan. Up top now to Andy Tatch. As Brad Wetzel has emptied his bench. And Tony mentioned the Wildcats have missed the playoffs and back to back seasons. The way they're playing right now, I'd have to think they're pretty much a lock after a three and two start to the conference season to get back in here for 2024. Well, they're playing, playing real well, really well right now, Brian, and you can see that. And you can see how they gave Gateway actually beat them and how they gave them a good game because they worked the ball around well. I think Gateway was by far the most impressive team other than Uniontown. Of course, we regularly cover right. that we've seen so far this season. And there's a long two near side draining it. Brady Prohovic for his first two off the Greater Latrobe bench. And the crowd goes wild. Fan favorite. 78-53. Wildcats set to bring a few more players in. Owen Teslovich there along with Dominic Scranton. There's another player down there. Can't get a jersey number on. That's 14. Anthony Munoz. Line change. Yes. 140 left. 78-53 Wildcats. We're going to have Aiden Black check out now too. DJ Pratt going to come in and get some action. I think Martin. Black will be done for the day. Martin into Varney. Posting up. Pulling it back again to Luca Martin. Martin on the far wing. Switches here with Pratt. Pratt up top will take the three. It's off the mark. Deflected around, and that one went back in. Who was it tipped in by? I'm going to give it to Luke Martin. <laughs> they only credited two up on the board. So we'll give it there to Martin. Yeah, they gave it to Luke Martin on the board, so he's got That was four. odd. Yeah, that was odd. Nico Harum going to check out now. 78 Caden to 55. Smith going to check yeah. in, the freshman guard. Going to see some action here in the last minute, 17 seconds. Dominic Scarton will send it in. Daniel Noonan a touch high on the left. Back in the corner again to Scarton. Scarton repositions over to Owen Teslovich. Near side. You had Scarton get another touch. Now we'll send it around the horn. Anthony Munoz for the right now. Watch there by Pratt as we go under a minute. Left here in the fourth quarter. And the Wildcats, great ball movement all around. And this time, Teslovich getting his first two off the Wildcats bench. It's 80-55. to 55. 47 seconds left here in the fourth. Suchovitz for Laurel Highlands. Back to Caden Smith, the freshman. Smith working off to his right. Lost the dribble. Gets help there from D.J. Pratt. Pratt has the seam. He'll take it right to the rack and lay it up and in. So Pratt now with four. 80 to 57, 23 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. So the win will improve the Wildcats to eight and seven overall. Loss will drop Laurel Highlands to two and 14. And still searching for their first win in 2024. And last win for the Mustangs, December the 12th against Connellsville. Wildcats taking it down, final five seconds. Scarton over to Bettina, and they won't even shoot. 
to your final score, Greater Latrobe 80, Laurel Highlands 57. Stay tuned for our post-game show brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Comes your way next here on WMBS and Turbo Live High School Sports Network, the South Union Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live. My name is Terry Kahn, and I'm a paralegal at Radcliffe Law, now Radcliffe Martin Law. It's exciting to work with the next generation of lawyers here in Uniontown. I've worked at several firms in Uniontown and worked on cases against the big firms in Pittsburgh. And I must say, they're no match for Tripp, Bill, and Rob. Their combined caring and integrity are second to none. Radcliffe Martin Law, your local injury attorneys. Give us a call at 724-439-3939 or like us on Facebook. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even watch it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Accidents can happen at any time. At Stewart Collision Service in Uniontown, we are here to repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition. Have dents? Stewart Collision Service does paintless dent repair. So give us a call at 724-437-9381 or stop by 73 East Fayette Street for all your collision needs. We work with all insurances. Stewart Collision supports our local high school sports team and wish you the best this season. That's Stewart Collision Service, 73 East Fayette Street in Uniontown, 724-437-9381. Pizza, beer, atmosphere, it's all at Mom Maruka's Pizza, located on Barton Mill Road in Uniontown. Mom Maruka's is your prime spot to enjoy local high school sports. Family owned and operated, the Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, wings, and the best Italian hoagie and homemade bruschetta in town. Mom Maruka's is open Monday through Saturday from 4 to 10 for indoor and outdoor dining and takeout. Don't forget Mom's catering services for your next party or guest. Gathering, call 724-438-9066 or visit mamarukapizza.com for their menu and live music schedule. Your health is the most important thing to you. When you need physical therapy, find the best clinic to serve you. Movement Physiotherapy, now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, understands this and wants to help ease the stress. Tyler Gasick has over 10 years of experience helping people improve their health with physical therapy and is ready to help you. Tyler's from the Uniontown area and is committed to helping improve his community. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy online at movementpp.com. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? Shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. Find more snuggle time this winter and be prepared for the cold with the help of First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. With a home improvement loan, a home equity loan, or home equity line of credit, you can finally upgrade that old furnace, take care of that leaking roof, or replace those outdated floors. Keep the cold out and the warm and cozy in your home this winter. Visit a loan officer today or apply online at ffgc.bank. First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County, member FDIC, equal housing lender, NMLS number 458729. Back here at Greater Latrobe High School, where the Wildcats have down the Laurel Highlands Mustangs by a score of 80 to 57. Our post-game show brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Tony, is your final stats. They're brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Tell them take it away. All right, for the victorious Green, Green, Greater Latrobe Wildcats, who improved to eight and seven overall, still three and two in Section 35A. They were led today by Ian Deserb, who had 26 points off the bench. 16 from John Wenzel and 16 from Max Butler. Eight points from Jaton Williams. Six points from Cordavius Davis. Cordarius Davis, I'm sorry. Four points from Kyle McNeil. 
and two points from Owen Teslovich and Brady Perhovic. 17 in the first, 21 in the second, 27 in the third, 15 points in the fourth for their total of 80. Five made threes, two of those by Max Butler, one from Quadarius Davis, one from John Wetzel, and one from Jaton Williams, and they were seven for 12 from the foul line here today. <coughs> Excuse me, for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, who dropped to two and 14 overall, they were led today by Ethan Koffler, who had 24. He was followed by Aiden Black, who had eight. Six points from Jaden Ringer on two made threes. Four points from DJ Pratt off the bench and Luke Martin off the bench. A made three from Shane Layton. Two points from Brennan Varney, Sevi Vecchiola, Nico Harum, and Lucas Suchovich. They scored 17 in the first, 12 in the second, 19 in the third, and 9 in the fourth for their total of 57. Four for seven from the foul line, and they had seven made threes. Four of those coming from Ethan Koffler, two by Jaden Ringer, and one by Shane Layton. 80 to 57, your final score. Greater Latrobe over Laurel Highlands are back with a final word in just a moment here on WMBS, the Turbine High School Sports Network, the South Indian Township Sports Network, and Facebook Live. Hey, you looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle? Well, look no more, because with over 200 vehicles, Gary's Auto Sales is the largest used car dealer.